What is good everyone? It is your boy Attach and today we'll be talking about a topic that's pretty like hot in the COD community right now. Things that are going on and uh, talking about the new game IW and a few of the new features that were shown on the IW reveal or competitive reveal live stream that I actually played at. Uh, it was myself, Aqua, Looney, and Facinto. And we were playing against uh, Clayster, Nogafin, Felony, and John from Team Envious. We played against them in a show match in IW. There was like the IW real stream. I'm sure some of you watched it, some of you may have missed it. We played a best of three. It wasn't like the two series or anything. It was kind of just everyone, everyone was trying. But it, there wasn't like, you didn't win anything. It was just to play, learn the maps, play for fun, and show people that. Because we've been playing, we were playing the game for a few days before that. And just practicing. And then we made teams like that. And the whole thing was just for fun, just to keep competing, because the game that we were playing was awesome, and the maps we played were actually pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure how the stream went, because I have not watched it back yet, but it was pretty fun. My team ended up winning, because, you know, it's the Attaches Seeds, and the Attaches Seeds, we do not take L's. We uh, won a local land the other day, I think like last weekend, and then this past uh, week, I forgot what days we went down to the studios, but we pretty much won another in IW. We won the first IW tournament, the first ever North Warfare tournament. So it always feels good, but Attached Seeds have been killing it recently. The uh, core three are myself, Looney, and Aqua. For the land, we used Accuracy, or the local land, we used Accuracy, and then for this one, we used Facinto. Still got the W, so the core three is very strong. We just don't take L's out here, but I just want to touch on the subject of the weapon draft. The weapon draft is something new that has been introduced to competitive Call of Duty. And personally, before I even talk about it, I'm going to say I like it. I like the idea. It just adds so much more strategy and so much more like players, certain players are really going to like show their true talents and uh, what they're good for in this weapon draft. And that's why I'm so excited for it. So this is how the weapon draft works. Of course, there's four players on a team, as you may know, and... Each, each time in a series, the weapon draft, two players on a team will be able to draft two weapons. And they cannot draft the same weapon. So, let's think of the guns in that game. There is the, I think, VHR, the blue submachine gun. I think, personally, I think it's the best submachine gun. So, whoever's the best submachine gun on the team will get that gun. Then whoever's the second best submachine gun on the team, I think it was the best, second best sub was the Karma. So the second best sub will get that gun. And then the AR players, personally, I think the K-Bar, is it just shreds. It all ranges up close is better than subs. Long range is better than anything. Medium range is better than anything. The K-Bar just shreds. Three bullet kill every time. And it shoots almost as fast as the submachine gun. But it's an AR, so it shoots across the map. You melt everything. So the best AR player or the most comfortable player with the K-Bar will be using the K-Bar. And then the second best or the support player, that support AR player, will be using the AR and something else. But that's the thing. You, have, you pick like your four initial guns. But then you have to pick the other guns you want to use for the other game types. Like, it's not just, like, one game you pick them. It's, like, all of them. So, in SND, if you want to snipe, you're going to have to pick a sniper and, let's say, a sub. Or a sniper and an AR. That's the thing. If you use a sniper and a sub in SND, you might have to use a sniper and a sub in, in like, a hard point or something like that. So, it's just, that's going to, like, shake things up a little bit. It's not going to be, like, the whole game where it's, like, three, four snipers or two, three snipers. It's not going to just be, like, the same gun you see every time because... I do agree. Seeing the same gun gets boring after a while. Everyone's using the same submachine gun or the same AR. Pretty much two weapons. In Black Ops 3, there was a little bit of diversity, but for the most part, it was all the same. But the only reason it was pretty diverse was because of Banner Protect. Banner Protect, personally, I did not like at all. So I hope we see that go in um, IW, because I just dislike Banner Protect a lot. It just adds so much randomness, so much flukiness to the game. So I'm glad, or I hope, I'm hoping to see that go. And uh, I think Weapon Draft will be really good. It will like increase the, like, it will definitely increase the strategy in each game mode, each map, each series. When you see the maps, you're gonna have to build like, what your team and teammates are using around those maps like oh this guy's comfortable on this map with this gun let him use that gun oh he's not as good on this map with that gun let the one that's more comfortable on the map use that weapon so it's just going to increase a lot of strategy or it's going to increase the strategy used in call of duty and also the other thing is it will showcase players talents a lot better as an example to showcase your talents with the weapons let's say there's someone that's the best Karma player in the game, and the Karma personally, to me, it's it's a really good sub. But personally, I think it's the second best one. So let's say the someone has like a crazy Karma player on their team, and a top team needs a Karma player. Like that 
person was showcasing their talents throughout the whole season, throughout the year, and then that person can get a chance or offer to join the upper level team because they need a karma player, and maybe their karma player is not doing too well, and it just goes for any gun. I'm not just talking about the karma. It can go for an AR player, a secondary AR player, or a sub player, and then a secondary sub player. Maybe even a sniper. If a team does need a sniper and like search and destroy, if sniping becomes a huge thing in this game, which I think it will, because snipers are very strong. Most of them are one shot, and um, it's it's definitely gonna like mess the dynamics and the teams up with Call of Duty. Personally, that's what I think throughout the year. You will see some changes. You may think like, wait, why is this person joining that team? Or why is this person joining that team? You probably will be confused at some point, but it's gonna be because of the weapon draft. If someone's very comfortable using a gun and someone on the top level team isn't, they would obviously want someone that's better and more comfortable on their team using that weapon, and it will usually create more success. That's why I think the weapon draft will just be a lot better and help competitive Call of Duty as like a strategy kind of game. Because Call of Duty has always just been kind of kind of random in a sense. It's, it's still going to be random, don't get me wrong. But it's going to add like a little bit more strategy. And I think with Banner Protect and Special Shaft, they tried to do that. But uh, with Banner Protect, it just kind of failed. Like, I don't know. It just wasn't that much strategy. It was just more so like randomness, random stuff getting banned. And then specialists are still in IW. And Black Ops 3, the specialist, you turn into, what are those, the Fantastic Four, bro. You turn to the guy that flies through the sky, that has fire on him. The person that turns, or the girl that turns invisible. The person has like a bubble shield that's kinetic on them. Like, the specialists are not that overpowered. They are good, don't get me wrong. Like, you're gonna have to earn them. They are good, and like, they will still help you in game. But they're not gonna be game changing. Like in Black Ops 3, if you were a team of good at using specialists, you could win games just based off specialists. And that's that's mostly what it came down to. Like you would go into a hill, heat wave, get a two piece, kinetic, get a three piece, go camo, break a spawn, kill the anchor, get the new spawn point. Like this game was all specialists. Whoever were the best specialist users were the best players in the game. And that's how Black Ops 3 went. That's why I'm glad the specialists are not like too amazing or anything in this game. They're still good, don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna be as game changing as it was in Black Ops 3. In Black Ops 3, it was just insane. In IW, I mean, they still could change games. You could win a game based off a specialist, but it's not gonna be like a consistent thing. Like in Black Ops 3, it was like consistently, you were gonna get this specialist and consistently make a good play while you're in like the grammar so with kinetic. Like one person shooting in the back window, kill the guy in the back window, pop kinetic, kill the guy in the front, kill the guy on the stairs. Like it's, it was, it's not, that's usually not gonna happen in this game and you cannot rely on it too much. I'm not really sure how you're gonna achieve the specialist. I'm pretty sure it's based off score again, but I think you're gonna have to earn it. You're not gonna just be able to like use overclock and be shitting the bed and then get your specialist. Like you're gonna have to actually be doing well throughout the map and you should be rewarded for doing well, of course. Like you should be rewarded for doing, it's just like anything in life. Like if you're doing good, you should be rewarded for something and that's how it is gonna be in IW, I hope. And if you're doing well, you should get rewarded. You should get your specialist and help you do even better, make you make a few more plays and uh, help your team out. So if you're doing good, you definitely deserve to be rewarded. But I think we are in for a really good year in uh, competitive Call of Duty. A lot of people are like, oh, Call of Duty is dead, IW sucks. But you gotta just wait till you play the game. I've played the game for two days, like the competitive game for two days, not just like pubs and stuff, the actual competitive game for two days. And I can tell you that is going to be a good year. But uh, everyone on Twitter nowadays just likes to hate and just say stupid shit. And it's just like, it's so annoying. Like, I don't even know. People just don't care anymore. But luckily, there's a few out there that still do. And I'm excited for this year. Hope you are as well. And thank you guys all for watching this video. And as always, my name is Attach, and I'm out. Peace.